Hi, it's Tony Robbins again. Welcome to session number two, Invincible Leadership, the secret to explosive growth. Another big promise, isn't it? But ultimately, let's talk about this for a moment. We said that Peter Drucker, one of the greatest business experts in history, a guy who could really help turn around and grow businesses, believed that all business really is, is this concept of innovation and marketing. That the more strategic you get about how to add value to your customer, to do more for them than anybody's doing, that's the ultimate competitive advantage, but only if you can also market. All the stuff though's gotta be managed, right? Somebody's gotta lead it. I mean, when you see a business and it's been around for decades and all of a sudden it starts to go down, what's changed? Well, for decades, economies went up and down. For that business to go down, what's changed is the leadership. In my experience of working with literally hundreds of thousands of business leaders, as well as millions of people, and God only knows how many companies over the last 30 years, the one thing I've seen is, if you have the right product, but you've got the wrong people, people that really don't understand how to meet customers' needs, people that have gotten used to doing things the same way and they got bad habits, people that aren't hungry and driven, and if you don't make a shift with those people, you can take the best product and you can destroy that company with the wrong leader. On the other hand, I've seen over and over again companies where they had a terrible product, but they got the right leader or the right leadership team, and they found a way to make it work and to be it successful because they can adapt it. Leadership is the ultimate advantage. Now, who's a leader? Every single person in the company can lead. They can lead a division. They can lead change. They can lead progress. But ultimately, if you're watching this, whatever division or part of this company you're in, whether you're a small company just getting started, a middle-sized company, or a really large corporation, something that's been around and doing hundreds of millions or billions of dollars a year, individuals are how companies change. They change when those individuals find a way to add more value. Think about it. What creates a breakthrough in a company where suddenly that value is found, a new way to meet customers' needs? What creates a new marketing breakthrough? What causes someone who's been selling a certain way and all of a sudden they start reaching everybody? That breakthrough always starts with a change in psychology, a change in a person's beliefs, a change in their emotion. You know, they were locked into a mindset of this is how you do it and it got old and stale. And one day they started to innovate. Or one day they said, you know what? The economy does suck. But you know what, it's not gonna suck for us. You know, I've interviewed some of the top business leaders, managers, innovators, turnaround experts, salespeople. I remember one time years ago, I met this woman named Marty Rodriguez. She was at the time, a woman who'd gotten in sales. She came to one of my sales seminars. I used to do these one day programs of total immersion about how to get the economic edge, how to have the edge of influence. And I saw her for, I don't know, maybe it was the eighth time she'd been to the same seminar, sitting in the front row, taking notes like crazy. And I finally went up to her because I found out she was the number one salesperson for Century 21 in the world, in the world. She was at the time selling more products, more houses per day than most people would ever dream of in doing in months. At one stage, she was selling more homes than the entire multiple listing service in the city she lived in, in Glendora, California. I mean, this woman, I watched her do well in good times and horrific times. In good times, everybody joined and she still outdid them. In bad times, everybody quit. All the mortgage workers, all the realtors, and she had this open market to get more of her brand ownership. And when I talked to her, I said, what are you doing at this seminar? I mean, you've been to this thing, what, eight, nine, ten times, seven times? How many? She says, I've been here more than a dozen. I said, you're in the front row for 12 hours taking notes like crazy. I mean, you sell an average of one home a day? She said, yeah. I said, then you're losing a sale today. I said, I'm not trying to talk you out of it, but why are you here? Because underneath it all, I thought I knew the answer, but I wanted her to say it. She said, Tony, I could go out today and sell. I could go out and just do my business and do better than most people. But how do you think I got to be number one in the world? My entire focus is creating breakthroughs, Tony. You know this. She said, I can keep doing what I'm doing, or I can come here and I can hear something. And even if it was the same thing I've heard, I've heard so many things that I'm not applying. You say it yourself, Tony, repetition is the mother of skill. If I hear something the first time, I might start to understand it intellectually. And that's the mistake you hear from most people, right? They, oh, I know this. If you're not doing it, you don't know it. Don't lie to yourself. If you're not getting the result, you're not applying it, you have intellectual understanding. An intellectual mastery 
you know, that's helpful. It's a first step. But understanding something cognitively and thoroughly saying you know it intellectually, that and $3 will almost get you a Starbucks. <laughs> you got to have more than intellectual understanding. It's got to become emotional. And that's what she said. I get in this environment with these people, total immersion, and the emotion hits me. And she says, I hear the stuff again, the repetition, I get it in my body, and now I start to follow through. Repetition is a mother of skill, but you can't just think it. You got to feel it. Where were you on 9-11? I bet you can remember vividly where you were because you didn't just have information. You had information that emotion was attached to it. Where were you on 7-11 of the same year? I bet most people can't remember unless something really emotional happened that day, your birthday, a breakthrough, whatever the case may be. The point of the matter is you got to go from intellectual and emotional mastery to doing it enough that it gets in your body. That's what we want to do in this program. We want to introduce you to some concepts, get you started on this path, and get it in your body so you actually follow through. That's why we also created a way for you to listen to this on audio. First time on video so you get immersed, but then you can do it with met time. No extra time when you're driving in your car when you're going on your run, when you're working out. So the sales tool or the negotiation tool or the way to get the meeting or the way to manage your time or the way to grow your business, it starts to get inside you. That's what masters do. Breakthroughs, again, are breakthroughs in psychology. They're breakthroughs in emotion because that's what changes your actions. That's what this first DVD is about. So on the surface, you might say, oh, you, get, you don't get to the core stuff. Well, if you want to do that and you think core is what to do, go to the next DVD and immediately find out the three ways to grow your business. But I'd hesitate. How often have you known what to do and not follow through? Let's take a little time, just this one. Pretend you're in a seminar. Put yourself into it. The people that paid $20,000 or the ones that paid $65,000 for the platinum version, those individuals, they did every exercise. They took notes like crazy. When someone said do an exercise, they didn't just watch the tape. They did it. They got it in their body, and that's why they got results. That's what I want to encourage you to do as well. Does it make sense? Great. And hopefully you've already watched the first DVD that explains how to use this program. It's very brief. You might want to take a look at that if you haven't already. But if you have, let's get you going right now. Here's what we're going to do. Before we start the actual, quote, seminar, the way we started out live is we have everybody sit down first, and I want you to do this now. I want you to make up your wish list, your action list, your outcome list. Here's what I want you to know. With you, or you and your team, whoever's here, I want you to take five to 10 minutes before you go any further, I want you to stop this DVD, and I want you to write down every change you would ideally like to make in your business, every improvement, every transformation, anything you'd like to master. And I mean anything. It could be something related to sales, marketing, management, time management, some way to change the culture, some way to influence people, how to turn your team around, how to turn yourself around. I want you to write down any challenges you have in the business, any problems that need to be solved, any goals you want to achieve, and specific things that need to be changed. Make a list, ideally if you have some other employees with you or other partners or associates with you, jot them all down for please five or 10 minutes, share them with each other, and then, Turn this DVD on and begin the seminar. And again, pretend you're there. Step in, yell back to the, to the screen because that's what's going to keep you in a peak state. Research shows if you sit back passively like this, you won't remember 10% of what we talked about. But if you write down notes, if you'll yell back the answer, if you'll be playful with this, your energy will be strong, you'll be like you're in the event, and it'll make a lot of sense. You'll be in a place where you get real results. All right? So stop the tape right now. Stop the DVD. Write down. Any changes in this business need to happen, any improvements, any problems that need to be solved, that your ideal wish list, and here's what I can promise you, in these 32 DVDs, in these three sections, this first you know, group of eight where you're going to go through and get the psychology and the plan, the change, the group of my partner Chet Holmes where you're going to go through and go, how do I go from zero to 100 million or a billion? What are those strategies? With the experts we have, the answers are there. Plus, remember, you have a coach available to you who can get on the phone and walk you through how to get to the next step. All right? So this is just the setup. Stop the DVD. Come on. Write down your list. Don't just jump in there so you know why you're doing this. What are you looking for? What's your outcome? What do you want to change? And then why do you want to change it? Why is it so important? If you made those changes in your business together, what would it mean? What would it mean financially? What would each one mean? Put a number on it. So what do you want to change? What do you want to improve? If we made the change, what would it be worth to us physically, emotionally? 
financially for this company. And turn on the DVD and I'll be arriving back, but this time I'll be live at the seminar in Las Vegas with 500 business leaders from around the world and we'll begin your process. All right? Live strong, live with passion. Let's begin the process. Stop the DVD now.